Hello and welcome to The Wargamer and you're joining me for a new series of videos called The Armoury in which I'll be showing you how to do conversions and kit bashes on your miniatures. The first few videos in this series will be focusing on bolt action miniatures, specifically the US Airborne Paratroopers and we'll be using those to create some plastic crew members for our team weapons. Now in this first video I'll be using the US Paratrooper Sprue along with the US Infantry Weapon Sprue to create a Bazooka Team, a Sniper Team and an Observer Team. The first team we'll be looking at will be the Bazooka team and we'll be focusing on the actual Bazooka Gunner himself. Now for this you will need to get yourself component number 30 from the US Paratrooper Sprue and this is the 30 cal right arm. And basically what we'll be doing is we're actually cutting away the 30 caliber weapon. So what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting away the stock and the actual weapon leaving the hand free and that hand will be holding the Bazooka. Now personally I would recommend using a hobby knife for this and just trim it down very carefully just taking it a little bit at a time and then using a hobby file just to file down the arm so we've got a nice profile against the sleeve, the wrist and the hand as well. With the LMG removed from component 9 you can see we've got this nice arm here which is perfect for holding the bazooka but we want to assemble the rest of the miniature. Now we're going for the prone paratrooper here as it is it's the most easiest way of attaching this particular arm. So I've got here component 6 and also component 8 as well. You want to uh, clean these sections up and then glue all of these sections together. The next step is to trim down the bazooka which we got from the US Infantry Weapons Sprue and it was part C. Now we want to trim down two sections, the stock and also the handle here so they fit in the arm and also the hand. So you can see if I overlay it here, you can see the areas that we need to trim down. Just trim down incrementally the stock here and also the handle. We want it to fit onto the, onto the arm itself so that it fits like so, going across the body. As you can see, the bazooka stock has been removed along with the handle. Now we want, now want to attach the left arm, which is part 14 on the US paratrooper sprue, to the left shoulder of the body and then lay the bazooka across the miniature so that it fits into both arms. So here you can see we've glued the bazooka onto the arms and it looks like the bazooka is being held at rest as the paratrooper waits in ambush. Now the next step is to apply the head and also any equipment on the miniature. Now I would recommend personally parts 39 and 35 for this but you could use any pouches and equipment you see fit. And here we have the completed bazooka operator. You can see it's in this lying down prone position, holding the bazooka as if he's waiting in ambush. Now I've also added in a backpack and some of the additional webbing items and also the head as well. You can choose whichever ones you prefer but I would recommend choosing the separate backpack and the separate items just as it makes it a lot easier to assemble it on this pro miniature. So have, that's the actual uh, bazooka operator, let's move on to the loader. The bazooka team member is much easier to build and for this we'll need parts 5, 22 and 30 from the US paratrooper sprue and also the bazooka rocket from the US weapon sprue as well. Now we want to attach the right arm to the uh, the right shoulder here as we would do normally and we want to angle this arm so it's angling down like so and then place the bazooka rocket inside the hand making sure that the actual the fatter part of the bazooka is actually being placed in the hand like so. So here we have the bazooka team loader you can see I've uh, attached the bazooka rocket into the left arm and the Thompson on the right arm as well. And I've also added on a head and some equipment as well. Now you can choose whatever equipment you uh, would feel is appropriate on this particular miniature. Now the next step is to actually apply the bazooka rocket pouch that we find on the infantry weapon sprue. And we're going to just be resting that on the floor of the base. The next team we'll be working on is the sniper team. We'll be starting on the actual uh, the marksman himself. Now we want to take component 16, which is the M1 Garand arm from the US uh, Airborne Sprue. And we also want to take component T, which is the scoped rifle from the US Weapon Sprue as well. Now we want to create a cut on these minutes. We want to cut the actual stock, the, the butt of the rifle off on here, and then the rest of the rifle off from the hand. And you can see roughly where we need to make the cut on each one, if I just overlay the two like so. And we want to, once we've uh, made the cut, we want to glue these two sections together. So with the sniper arm switched out, we now have a sniper rifle in the M1 Garand arm. The next step is to apply it to both the kneeling body and also the arm as well. And this is component 2 on the paratrooper sprue and this is component 17 on the paratrooper sprue. Now we just want to assemble these, obviously the right arm going on the right shoulder, the left arm going on the left shoulder and then them joining together at the hand. So here we have the marksman who's had the arms assembled and also a head 
and a backpack and webbing added as well. Now there's one final detail to the miniature. You could also add on the bandolier, which is from the weapon sprue, which is component H. And you just place that underneath the left arm and it just look like the marksman is carrying a little bit more ammunition. With the marksman completed, we're now going to be building the spotter from the sniper team. We're going to be going for body four, Thompson arm 24 and pointing arm 32. And these are all from the uh, the paratrooper sprue. I'm also going to go for the binoculars, which are component I from the weapon sprue. Now I'm going to be gluing these arm, arms in the relevant positions. And the binoculars we're going to actually place just on the chest there as if they're attached around uh, some string around the neck. So here we have the completed sniper team spotter with the pointing arm, the binoculars, and the Thompson arm there as well. And I've also glued on a head and some webbing to the back of the miniature also. Now with the sniper team completed, we can now move on to the forward observer team. Next up, we have the forward observer, and the key components on this particular kit is going to be the uh, M1 carbine from the weapon sprue, and this is component O. And we're also going to be using the uh, number three body from the US paratrooper sprue, along with the um, binocular arms, which are component 33. Now, obviously we're going to be placing these uh, just on the shoulders like so, roughly around about head height there, so it looks like the, the paratrooper is looking through the binoculars. And then we're going to be attaching the actual uh, carbine itself, just down at the side here, so it looks like it's slung over the shoulder of the paratrooper. Now with the actual observer officer completed, the next step is to assemble his assistant. So here we have the components that I'll be using to build the forward observer's assistant. Now I'm using the running legs and also the pigeon here to represent the fact that he's running messages uh, to and from uh, the, the front lines and also the artillery batteries and also the pigeon that he can use to relay messages to any artillery batteries behind the front lines. Now the components I'm using here is one, for the actual bodies themselves. The, the rifle here is 23, the pigeon is 49, and finally we have this arm, um, which is component number 30. Now these are all from the US paratrooper sprue. And here we have the completed forward observer assistant, complete with the running pose and also the pigeon just on the back of there as well. I've also included some webbing and finally a helmet as well. And here we have the completed sniper team, bazooka team, and forward observation officer. If you'd like to get your hands on the components I used in this video, you can check out the Wall of Games website, which you'll find a link to in the description below, which have put together a pack of both the Paratrooper Sprue and also the US Weapon Sprue, and that's available for £10. And all the components that are found within that pack will allow you to make the Sniper Team, the Bazooka Team, and also the Forward Observation Officer as well. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below, and also let me know what other conversions, be it bolt action or anything else, you would like to see me do in the future. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all my future videos. And if you would like to support me in making future content, you can do so by checking out my Patreon page. From there, you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, which will really help me in producing future content. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.